Now, looking at this circuit, let's say that I use my, I have put my transistors in the middle, transistor in the middle, so Q1 is in the middle, and I've connected the collector side to this VCE. Let's say it's a fixed voltage, that one volt that we talked about in the previous slide, and I've connected my base volt. The emitter is also ground, same as the previous slide, and I've connected my base voltage to a voltage source that I'm going to change its value and see what will happen to the current, right? So now I'm interested in the current in the collector, which I know it's the current that is going all the way from the collector, passes the base and goes to the emitter, right? So this is the current that I'm interested in that is going from collector to the emitter. And I wanna know how is it related to the voltage at the base or the to be more accurate, the voltage across the base emitter junction VBE, right? Mathematically, I can see that IC is IS e to the power of VBE over VT. So if I draw IC, the collector current versus VBE, I can see that there's an exponential relationship, right? You might think about that, like you might think that, well, this is very much similar to diode. What's special about this thing? One thing I want to make sure that you guys uh, pay attention to is that this is not the current of the same junction. This is the current of a different place. It's the current between collector and emitter that is controlled by the voltage between base and emitter. That's the difference. So for a diode, it was always the current of the uh, basically diode versus the voltage across the diode. So this was VD and this was ID, right? Here, we're talking about the current through a different part of my uh, device between the collector and emitter. This is not the base current. This is the current between, this is the collector current that we are just, we are talking about right now. And this collector current is actually uh, controlled exponentially by the base emitter junction. The more interesting picture is actually this circuit, right? So now this time, imagine that I fix the VBE to a certain voltage, let's say 0 0.8 volts, okay? And now I try to change my VCE. The behavior that I see is one of the most important behaviors uh, that will make us more familiar with the, uh, basically how a transistor operates. If you look at the IC versus VCE, you will see that for different values of IC, for the, sorry, for different values of VCE, the current doesn't change. The current is always constant, as long as my VBE constant. Yes, if I change my, let's say VBE1 is 0.8, I change my VBE and make it VBE2 to, I don't know, point um well since vb2 is higher than vb1 let's say vb2 is 0.8 and vb1 is 0.7 okay so this is for 0.7 this is for 0.8 but this plot is telling me that as long as i keep my vbe constant vce has no say in the current of the collector right so the voltage across the collector emitter is not really uh, affecting the current between collector and emitter, the current that is flowing through the, let's say just for, uh, just, just, let's just say that the current that is flowing through the collector. So this is very interesting. So another terminal, the base emitter terminal, the base emitter junction is controlling my IC, but the, the collector emitter voltage, which is basically closer to the IC, is not really changing the, the IC at all, right? So this is very different from whatever we have seen before, okay? Now, knowing this, knowing that the collector emitter VCE has no say in the current that is flowing through the transistor, I can actually draw a box across my transistor in this way, this dashed box, and say that if inside the box I fix this V1 to some voltage, let's say 0 0.7, 0 0.8, whatever, right? I can be sure that the current that is flowing here this IC is always constant, no matter what I connect to this part of my circuit. So let's say inside the box, I'm just going to replace this with a box and say that I have a box that, by the way, it's connected to ground, right? You can see that it's connected to ground, connected to ground. I have a box that no matter what happens or whatever I connect to it, here, somehow this current that is coming out of the box or going into the box is always constant. Have we seen this before? Yes, we have. 
We have seen this before when we were talking about current sources in electrical circuits. We said that a current source, an independent current source, or dependent current source for that matter, a current source is an element that has a constant current no matter what is connected to it, right? That is why I can actually show and actually replace this box with the actual symbol of a current source. And I'm going to have this. So a transistor that I have here is basically a current source. And by the way, this current source, it is dependent on, because IS is a constant and VT is a constant, so it's only dependent on this V1. Where is V1? Here. V1 is the voltage at the base. So it's a voltage controlled current source. And the voltage that is controlling it is VBE. Right, so by changing the VBE, in a sense, I'm changing the forward bias voltage of the base emitter junction. Therefore, I'm changing the current that is flowing through from emitter to the base and the, and then collector. Uh, therefore, I'm actually controlling this current that is flowing through this transistor. And since this transistor, if I only if I connect the collector to anywhere they want, I can be sure that the the current of the transistor is not going to change as long as the voltage at the base is not changed.